Us. Hello and welcome to this Zenshin Martial Arts video. My name is Sensei Jamoki and today we're going through Heian Yondan Kata. This is our fourth kata in the Heian series and it's getting a little bit hard in this, uh, for this kata. So make sure you've been training for about nine months to a year of consistent karate training. That's when you're going to start to really understand the kata and perform it well. Obviously, there's nothing stopping you from learning as a white belt. It just, it'd be, it'd be harder to do. Most of the stances now that we've done before, we, we have done before, so there's nothing uh, really to go into about. I think the hardest thing for my students is doing the Yorkagerias to the side into a Mawashi MP. So definitely practice your Yorkagerias for this. Um, and apart from that, I think everything else you could just get straight into and do it. Before we do the kata though, we're going to go through the embosun, the, the map of our kata, the line. Um, when we start the kata, if I'm here, just like every other kata, we take a step this way to start off with. We then take a step this way. We then come down the middle line and then we do a kick over to this side, we then kick over to this side, we then come back down the middle and we finish off after a big step here. We're then going to turn around, we go this uh, angle here, 45 degree angle, we then like a little combo with a kick and some punches. We then come down this way to the opposite angle, in the opposite corner and we kick and do some punches. We then have three steps down this middle. One, two, three. We then change that, we do a knee, turn and step again. And then we finish. So notice, this is the first time in our kata where if we've started on this line, we actually have moves behind, um, towards the end of the kata. Whereas usually the other katas, we don't go past this line. So I always find that we need to take a step forward so you have room behind you if you're like restricted with room. Okay, with that said, let's, let's just have a go in, into the kata and um, follow along. So, Musugodach. Right. Yo. And you're not. The first move here is I'm going to step out in Koko Sadachi, just like all our other katas, and the hands drop down and they open like this. So, very similar shape to here, knee down, with now hands, hands open. Now we do this slowly. Now the hands again drop down, and I'm going to shift my weight to the other side. We're going to lift it up, itch, knee, sa, shi. Good. I'm going to pause it there. With this move, I see a lot of students, they end up having this round back and the, ar the arms are quite close together. But we need to open our, our back, open our shoulders and my, my, my position is quite, quite big and spread out compared to this. So that's one thing to remember. I'm really trying to think about having that right rectangular shape. Okay, so let's go from the start again. So first move to our left. Itch. And raise it. Knee. San. Shi. Then we're going to turn around. Morte. And raise. Itch. Knee. San. Shi. Now my left leg is going to pull up as I look forward my right hand stays on top and my left hand comes underneath and then we make a jujuki like this so if my left leg is forward my right hand is going to be on top because we work opposite and notice how I as I pull up I want to think my left hand is blocking like a gidan right and then the right hand comes on top like this. So then from here we step 
into Kokutsu Dachi Murata Yuki. So I step forward and come through. My reinforced forearm block like this. Let's just do that like quick combo again. So from our second, second opening move here, left leg pulls up. We gather it from one side and thrust forward. Then step Murata Yuki. Now, this is the hard bit. We're going to use our back leg, pulls up, and I come in Koshigamai here. So this means my right hand is on the bottom as the, the cup and saucer, so this one will be the saucer, my left hand is the cup. It's coming here as I look, as I look to the left side. Now from here, I'm going to kick your Kageri. I have Marshi MP. Now I do the same thing on the other side. So my right leg pulls up as I rotate. My left hand is the source and my right hand is the cup here. And then I kick and then do another Moashi MP. Good, we're gonna go through that a bit in more detail. So when thinking about which way the hands go, um, if, if I was to do a racket on this side, because if we kick and doing a racket at the same time, don't we? So if I'm doing a racket, uh, if I put it back here, look, it is in this position. So the other hand is going to be as the base to that. Same as the other side, I'm going to do a racket with this hand. So if I pull this back, it's going to stay in this position. And then my, my left hand's acting as the, as the base for this. So it should be very simple from here to go out to come back. And on this side, it goes out to come back. So that's the position here on the hip. Um, as for the kick, we're doing a Yorkigeri Kiage. So it's important that after here and I balance, my standing leg is bent to give me more balance, stability. And I'm gonna kick and do a racket at the same time. Kick, I'm gonna pull back. See that position I pull back into. What we don't wanna get into the habit of doing is kicking, is kicking and dropping it and falling into it. I need to kick, pull back, have balance, and from there step out. So that looks like balancing, kicking, tucking, stepping, and then striking. And that one, I can really twist my body and do damage there. Now I do the same thing on the other side. I pull up here. I'm looking the way I'm gonna kick. I kick, tuck, down, and bring it round. Okay, let's do the start of the kata. This time I'm going to face this way around, and we're going to have a go together as well, follow along with you. So, our ready position. First move goes each, down, raise, change. Raise. So left leg pulls up, pull up to the right side and step. Now Murata Yugi, each in that stance. Good, now we are going to pull up and kick. Change to the other side, pull up, kick. Good job. So that's where we've got to. Well done. So one thing I want to add to this um, to make it really good. So when I land after that kick, we're going to encounter like a hidden stance, which is going to be Fudodachi, our immovable stance. Uh, I would say it's quite a, a high grade stance to do. Um, so when we, when we land, I don't want to go straight into my Moashi MP because I haven't got the drive there to, to actually smack someone. And we all know it's the hip that like drives the movement. So when I land, I'm going to be that full of that. So that is, imagine a Zenkut Sadachi, but my back leg is bent and then my hip is, my shoulders are open here. So now I can activate my, through my back leg, along my hip to my shoulders and close. 
So you can practice opening and closing. Open and close. Let's try that again slowly. Um, so let's go from the right leg forward, Murata Yuki. So my left leg pulls up, my hands go on my right hip. I look where I'm kicking. I kick, tuck, land, foot of that, so both legs are bent. My body's open and then close it. Let's change the other side. So lift up, my right leg comes up. Look at the way I'm going. Hands on the left side. I kick, tuck, land, back leg is bent, then close it. Good job. That's, that's going to take time to practice and get good. But once you do, it should look a lot better and feel better as so well, feel more powerful. Now from here, we are going to keep the stance. I'm going to lean into it. So notice I'm trying to mimic the, like, the angle of my, of my leg here. So I'm going down. Then from here, so let me just go into more detail. That right hand comes up to, to my head this way. My left hand goes, goes down. Both hands are, the palms are facing down here. Something like this. And then I'm just going to shift stance. So it's the hip that does all the work and I'm going to go forward. So I'm making a Jordan Stoke here. So imagine how I do Stoke this way. I'm now coming round. So from here I'm going to twist and go round here. So this, my left hand is covering my head. My right hand is in front striking. Now, notice how I've gone from this angle is actually here, and then I'm going to shift, twist my hips forward, and my, my stance changes. So now I'm aligned more forward for my Jordan Stoke. Now, from here, I'm going to kick my Gary, change my hands. So my uh, left hand comes out, my right hand has made a fist, and then we land a rack in here. So I'm in a, a Koshidachi here. So that is, uh, let me show you from the side of here. So I'm going to kick and then on top, step. So think front stance and then the back leg comes up to support here. So I'm bringing all my weight forward into my opponent. Bang, like barging them. So let's just do that uh, little combo again. So after the second Moashi um, MP. I come down, a bit of a lean with it. Let's check the hands. Then twist forward. And then kick. Hands change. Strike. Like this. For some reason, a lot of my students love to make this, uh, whatever this is, like a Marathi Yuki or something. This is just one handed Arakan. So imagine this hand's grabbing my opponent, pulling them in, and then this hand is coming on top, bang, and down. Like this. Let me try that section uh, facing the same way as you. So let's do, let's do the kicks and then add the, the bits of the ki. Because we've got my right leg forward in Marathi Yuki. I'm going to lift, kick, top. Land, MP. Other side, lift, kick, tuck, land, MP. Now we lean and shift forward. Then we kick, my Gary, hands on top and step. And that will be our first ki right there. So from here, let's do this, keep it the same way. So if we're all facing, this way, together. I'm now gonna turn over into this corner here and make a kakiwaki yuki here. So I'm in kokutsudachi. I'm at the, like this 45 degree angle. My hands cross and then come out. It's important that we keep our elbows in and then they're not flared out. This doesn't make us very strong like this. But when my elbows are in, this is like a, I'm grabbing my opponent. Our next move is to like grab them, then be like kicking them, and then punching on top. So I've got to be braced. I can feel my lats engaged in this position. Whereas like here, if a shoulder work up here, it's starting to be very strong. So we cross, 
and bring it in. Let me show you here. So I'm a right leg forward, the left leg was crossed behind him, I crossed it actually. So what's good is to get this, this left leg to go in search in the angle that we need to go. So as I step, turn, and here. Now I'm gonna kick, and then there's oizuki gakazuki. Then I'm gonna pull back through the middle, and I go over to this corner now, and do the same thing. So from here I'm gonna kick maigeri, and then oizuki gakazuki. Let's do this, um, the face for you, like how I started the kata. So that means I will be here, I've just on my first ki eye. Ki eye. So this foot's going to go off as I turn. Then I kick. I look, pull back, step to this corner. Same thing, kick, and do two punches. Notice how my, my arm comes out before though. Um, for me it's a good habit to get into because it's not a punch, it's not a punch. It's uh, so if I, if I hold it, I'm kicking. So rather than just landing one, two, it can look a little bit basic, very like white belt-ish. No offense white belts, but it does. Um, but, if I was to do it here and go kick, I'm marking, grabbing, pulling. So that, that's where this opposite hand comes in. And then, then I bang like this. As opposed to it going like kick, one, two, like where it went from here and then it went punch, it's no good. So we want to kick, then here, that's where I get ready for the punch. And then punch. So there's two punches but I kind of incorporate a, a, a grab, a pull into it beforehand. Let's do it again. I'm gonna face you. I'm gonna go for my first ki eye. Um, so if I was facing you, I'd be here for my first ki eye like this. So now we're gonna turn to our corner. This move is easier to slow move as well. Then we're gonna kick and then we have two punches. Kick. I'm gonna look, pull, step, across. So it's just the right leg that, that moves then. Same thing on this side. Kick. One, two. Good, okay. I'm gonna give myself some more space. So from here now, after that move, we're going to do three martyukis. So I believe I'm gonna have my left foot here in this corner. So I look down that center line and I block and then do it again. I do it one more time. Then I'm going to change stance. I must change stance into front stance because this Matsuyuki in Kokutsudachi is a narrow stance. I'm now going to grab the head and I'm going to be facing front. So my hips are forward. I need that width. If I was to not change stance and go here, I'm not very strong in this position. This hip is behind. I can't even grab someone equally. So I need to use my front leg to move. Now I'm facing forward. I've grabbed the head. So I put my hands in that position. You can even get the thumbs like I'm grabbing the head. Don't want to make it like someone's got a big head or you don't want to grab someone taller than you. Uh, for the, when you're performing the kata anyway. So we, we're grabbing like our evil twin is how I would refer to it. So after here, we grab the head. From there, we knee, the hands come down, and then we turn and make stroke here behind us. That knee is a ki eye. And then we turn, bang, 180 degrees round. So if I was to show you facing this way, um, like the way we've done our kata, it goes here, so here. I then move my leg across, grab the head, then I like knee them, easy Gary, knee, and then turn, and then step, and then from there, 
finish. That was the whole cat. I feel like we got through that fast. Hopefully as we get better, like we understand the movements more and so it, they require less explanation. I certainly think I could perform it uh, and go through it facing this way. So we do it as a, as a follow along view and I'll talk through the kata and we'll go through it slowly. I think I'm going to do so I say, hey and yonder! Go to our left, step, drop the hands, raise them, slow, and change, shift the weight to the back leg, and raise. Left leg pulls up, hands come from the right side, Jujuki. Now we step, cockle searching, mark to you. Now we've got lift and kick bit. So we lift, kick, tuck, and then round. Other side, lift, look where you're going. Kick, tuck, and then land. Then we lean, as the left hand goes down, the right hand comes up, and then we twist and strike. And then we're gonna, I'm going to kick, I'll do my rack and I'll give a key out this time. So I'm going to kick and now the leg goes back to the corner, I twist, hacky wacky, so we come to this corner, keep the elbows in, we then got kick with two punches. I pull back, I look to the other corner, step out, same thing, go. Now I'm going to come down the centre line, pitch. Grab, and knee, set, boss, okay I came um, a little bit close to my camera then, I hope you, were, you probably weren't able to see everything I did, let me just do that. Last little section again, hope you can fill it in. So, we finish here. We got three Marty Yuki's. Knee, stand, change. Then knee, step, and step forward again. Okay, last time, this time I'm going to face you, I think we're good. I, I think every time you lift your leg up the f off the floor, we need to pull it back. So, what I'm thinking of now is how we do the izagiri, and not to just like, drop it and turn, but to izagiri, twist. So even when I twist, that knee's up, perfectly balanced, and then step back. Okay, last time. Hey, and yonder. Step up and Jujuki. Step Maratuki and back stance. We're gonna kick, go, lift, kick, and round. Other side, lift, kick, and round. Lean, shift, kick, to the corner. Go, kick, punch, punch. Pull back to the corner. Go, kick, punch, punch, hitch, knee, tan, shi. Go, and step. Oh, 
Okay, good job. Well done. Keep practicing. You're doing great. Um, thank you everyone for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, and obviously if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below and I can't wait to get back to you. Us.